tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Vegas Raiders taking on Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders. kickoff as we'll start at the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback and that's Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. second down now and as a defensive end getting off the ball quickly swarming to the football making a tackle that's what we saw right there yeah that's what their job is and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends they're like in a sprinter stance they're just straight for the quarterback that was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain yeah this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So, now here's A.J. Cole for the Raiders. DeAndre Carter back deep. Forty-five yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw mouth versus air. It's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field, and he's creating with big throws downfield. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Second down. Yeah, I don't think it's 
exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Cross left side into the hands of his tight end. And three yards on first down, just one yard there. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallow than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practice as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down at the 28 yard Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. We're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And he's brought down here just out of the 20. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Touchdown! Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are on the board first here in Vegas. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Point after up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line for the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Raider offense get the drive started. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called, and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go through. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two 
first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Carter's throw pulled in by Renfro. A Raider first down, Carter Renfro. They're going to look to throw. And that, oh, incomplete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. Carr. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to possession of the football. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Everett there, complete. Inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. <laughs> Running on first down, Eckler. Rashawn Slater, first-round pick in 2021. Guilty there. Herbert. Allen's got it complete. Down inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip inside the five-yard line. Give him 32 on the play. How about this first? quarter for them throwing the football this defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air I'm not sure how they're going to change things around but offensively I keep attacking I keep throwing the football until they make me change Eckler fighting for the end zone he lost the football it's out and the Raiders pick it up and a big turnover changes hands they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right and the question was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose and is the video convincing enough to overturn it a lot of factors here remember you also need clear possession of football afterwards this is a tough one to overturn So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Try to punch it in with Eckler, and he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler taking it in from a yard out, and the Chargers have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. It's a kicking team here for the extra point. Jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. 
Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll begin on the ground. Jacobs. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Call it full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Once again, Jacobs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. The Raider first down, 17 yards. Now Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Getting down on the other side of midfield. You can almost hear the side of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to dig out of this hole. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. Second down at three. Nice completion there. Keeps this moving. Carr to get this to Jacobs. And he's going to take it down at about the 33. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Well, partners, the first quarter, two we're going to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Throwing now is Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. So Carr will depart, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson, for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And it gets out here at 14 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points in the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. You're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggle with a few drives so far. Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. On second down, Eckler. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. That'll leave him with a 
third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Herbert going to keep it on the seat. And this is not going to be enough. Two yards and only got halfway there. Well, that wound up backfiring. Instead of handing it to your workhorse fullback or running back, they went quarterback sneak, and now they have to punt it away. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. They'll try the air now with Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defense defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. There on the stop, it's Neil Farrell. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. Now yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On the game, this is their fullback. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. On first and ten, Herbert. as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett, a seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. 
So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No some. They're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point attempt here still to come. And it's 21 to 3. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard past there to the 21. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. To throw its car. It's caught. Left side, Bolden. A yard and a first down. That's been a very one-sided game so far. They got what they're doing right now. Don't wait until the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment to put some points on the board. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr takes. Sebastian Joseph Day, his second sack of the night. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this is the defense. So much right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. Four yards on the to contend with a third and 13. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. A 43-yard punt, two on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back, winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. On second and a couple, Herbert. And that is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third down and two. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. As percentage completion is way up, not that time. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there.
Now this one is tied in down on the right side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go for a zone blitz scheme. Get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he takes it down to the fourth with a pickup of four. Perfect football guy. He run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback die. How did that pick out now? He needed a yard on fourth down. It is. It is. He's got to put that their confidence in. You know, you, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can bounce back. I've got play. The numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So looking at each other. to get a pass into yeah. your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Just 
now because I told you you need to be a fucking That's my center, man. Yeah, now we're going to get so suited to the football defensively. Just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Since coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And he's going to get this down here to 25. Flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers will just before halftime. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. They decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Raider offense heading back for one final first-half drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. From 31, Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example. 
Another incompletion. From the gun now on third down. Carr. It's caught here by Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that's a little too high. It's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a route. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Hey, Brandon very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. This one maybe not the hard fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen as we send you right back out to Brandon God. All right coach thanks very much fine work is we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they've got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. 68 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Herbert throw going into the hands of Williams. Still on his feet. Mike Williams, 59 yards, and the Chargers are pouring it on. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to change. Now the try here for the pulling after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. try to bring it out. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Car now on first down. And Bolden brings it in complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he is swallowed right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Here's Carr to throw. Trying to get it to Adam, but it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. This defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. 
coach, and they have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The handoff, it's Eckler. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Whipping one into Allen, that's complete. And he's brought down. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown Los Angeles. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers use the short field to get in for six. Extra point forthcoming. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That drive, four plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. going to stay put and drive start at the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably not the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brent, and for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley, and the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Herbert on first down now. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Denver Perryman. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after it. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. 
The last run got six. Now second and four. To throw his car. They'll find his tight end. That's Walter. He's able to get this one closer to midfield across the 45. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Carr. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Second and two. Here's Carr. A Waller taking it in over the middle. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now, Carr again. Throwing it a traffic there. That's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. Back to throw. Carr. The reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. And he's on the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And the Chargers are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. So this defense, Charles, quite a performance. Not working on a shutout, but they have still yet to give up a touchdown as they come up with the interception there. But well, we've seen this from them before because you can move the ball off through the middle of the field, but once you get into the red zone, they really clamp down. They come up with the interception there, but you know about this crew. They're playing modern defense, taking care of the red zone, third downs, and getting after the quarterback. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Once more, here's Eckler. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a game to four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're really going to benefit to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Third off the play action. That's Williams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of five. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too, too concerned about the deep ball. They think we want space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. It's Herbert. Target yet again. It's complete. Down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they get the receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Running on first down, Eckler. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain. Second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play the year. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back to 32. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. All right, let's give them a little bit of applause here. Good for them because this has been a defensive nightmare for them thus far. At least they're finally getting a couple of plays won't make the scoreboard of the ride home easier but one good moment to watch and film next week and he'll get this to the 23 but that'll be well short of what he needed 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, the only silver lining on the other sideline, CD, is that they kept him out of the end zone, but still three points added on to this large lead. Yeah, no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one. And even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize the points. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. To be it's incomplete so they couldn't hook up as time as they run out on this third quarter of play one quarter remains here in this thursday night matchup we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports the raiders on third down three for seven so far in this game this will be third and five shotgun now for Carr. that's caught by his tight end foster moreau first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Carr. The open man here, Renfro. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second and four. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And on the left sideline, he caught it out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Carr. And able to complete it to Moreau. And he is going to have the Raider first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. game as he looks to throw to the sideline locates Renfro and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds <laughs> to throw again on second down Carr yeah that went too far in front couldn't reel it in it's incomplete they lead big and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he is going to have the Raiders first. They're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Car to throw again. A dump off here to Bolden. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? On first and ten, here's Carr. Quick slam into the hands of Darren Waller. And brought down, but not before they get it in. The 10 to the 7. 18-yard 
Evans there, and it'll be a first and goal. Now it's Bolden. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Jacobs looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback, Johnson. And he'll take it in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Carlson up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. We pay his offense. result this is Super Bowl-esque and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today and down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine 102 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better really as the night's gone on on second down Eckler and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line four yards the pickup first down Eckler again. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the four. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. It's like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up the yardage. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Six yards, the pick, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world the challenge. It's a game six, moves them to a manageable third and two situation. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? New set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game you have up front say, guys keep pounding them let's keep the ball keep their offense on the side and let's close this one out 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Point after here coming up. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive is starting to 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but with self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. On first down, Carr. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that. As that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Carr, and he gets it to Boulder. And he'll be taken down, but not before they win this to the 45. there and gosh you look up at the scoreboard they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough it certainly can't and also what happens when you get this big of a deficit you're supposed to make all the right throws right you're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys but being down this big you also take even more chances and in this situation that hasn't paid off for them at all on the other sideline jubilation and laughter Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. <laughs> 